the women and children were captured. A class was 14 at the time. She and her family tried to escape up the mountain, Mount Sinjar, but they couldn't run fast enough. She was then kidnapped, torn apart from her mother and locked in a prison. She told me she saw things which will always haunt her, things which I found very difficult to listen to. الآن هناك حملة إبادة جماعية على المكون اليزيدي سيد النائب بعيدة. نعم سيد الرئيس أنا ملتزمة رجاء سيد الرئيس نعم. أهلي يذبحون أهلي يذبحون كما ذبح كل العراقيين ذبح الشيعة والسنة والمسيحيين والتركمان والشبك واليوم يذبح اليزيديين أخوان نحن نريد بعيدا عن كل الخلافات السياسية نريد تضامنا إنسانيا أنا أتكلم هنا باسم الإنسانية أنقذونا أنقذونا 48 ساعة 30 ألف عائلة محصورة في جبل سنجار بدون ماء بدون أكل يموتون 70 طفل لحد الآن ماتوا من العطش والاختناق خمسين شيخ مات من من الوضع المتردي نساؤنا تسبى كجرايا جاريات وتباع في سوق الرق سيد الرئيس نطالب البرلمان العراقي بالتدخل الفوري لإنقاذ هذه المذبحة اثنين وسبعين حملة إبادة جماعية على اليزيديين والآن تكرر في قرن الواحد وعشرين نذبح نبيت يباد دين كامل على وجه الأرض أخوان أنا أناشدكم باسم الإنسانية باسم الإنسانية أن تنقذونا سيد الرئيس أريد شكرا جزيلا شكرا جناب النائر it's chaotic, when people were waving, they were giving thumbs up. And there are a couple... There are a couple people very relieved to be off the mountain, and clearly very, very frightened. Then the helicopter lands one last time to pick up more passengers. Here they come! More desperate people throw themselves at the aircraft, <laughs> heaving their children on board. It's first come, first serve. <laughs> there were some who couldn't make it.
aboard the aircraft shock, exhaustion, fear that eventually gives way to relief. I can't describe to you how relieved people are right now. The just shock and the chaos of that moment. But we've got little Aziza here, she's not happy. Because she says her father got left behind. The gunners are opening fire on targets below. They're protecting the helicopter. But it's terrifying these little kids. The problem is we're flying over ISIS front lines. This is the only protection we have right now to protect the aircraft and its precious cargo. We are uh, ready to uh, sacrifice ourselves to save the uh, humanity, to protect the society, the civilization here. 34-year-old Azima is a top field commander. Her name means strength. Now we run, she says. Sheets hung across intersections cloak our movements from enemy snipers. You stay low and run fast. Azima took us to the southern front. As Kurdish women, she says, we are tied to our land and our principles more than our lives. 19-year-old Barfin, a teacher, keeps a grenade in her pocket. I'm not leaving here. Either I die here or we win, she says.